everyone this is Lisa from life in layouts thanks for joining me for another process video today I am using the page maps from August of 2019 and I'm gonna be using this two page sketch I picked up this jelly bean soup paper pad it's from 2006 from peachy cheap and I will see if I can find it on scrapbook got scrapbook.com and list it below for you guys it's a little bit different than what I'm used to, but I love the springy colors in this paper pad. And I am using some photos of my friend when she went to Rock Springs and I was actually there with her. So there are a couple pictures that I'm in. And this sketch was perfect for these photos. So the photos on the left, I did cut down to three by five, like the sketch called for, but the photos on the left, I left them four by six. I trimmed them down just a little bit so that there is a little border on the top and the bottom, but they're uh, mainly four by six photos in the, instead of the, I think they call for a three by five photo as well. So now I'm working on cutting out the strips of paper and I cut the blue, like tealish blue color. That is at uh, 12 by six. And then the stripe, diagonal stripe paper is 12 by three. And then that cross sign picture uh, paper, I didn't really measure that one in the gray. I just cut it so that there was one strip of this one right here. There's one strip of the plus signs. The chevron paper, I cut that piece of paper at uh, two and a half by 12. And then the star paper that I'm gonna end up using is cut at one by 12. So I did eliminate the paper on the right-hand side with uh, the big journaling strip. I was actually going to use this yellow piece of paper in that place, but the way that my layout turned out, I didn't like that being there. So I just went ahead and omitted it. So now I am getting everything down and seeing what I like. I'm still going to use that yellow strip. I think it's not until right here is when I move it out and I put the star strip there. So I am using a border punch that is from, hmm, let me fix this one. I believe it is I think I got it at Michael's I'm not exactly sure of the brand and there's no brand name on it it's a really old border punch but it provides like a little wave and then small tiny circles and I did that for the star paper as well as the green uh, polka dotted strip paper I am going to be using fossilized amber as my distress ink to distress the edges of all of the paper And then I'm going to go ahead and adhere everything down once I uh, get that done. Now, my battery died right here or coming up really closely. And um, I was only able to get a few moments of what I'm going to be doing, cutting out the circles. So I did not uh, speed it up as much as I normally do, but I used my Creative Memories circle cutters. I've had these for years and I just love the way that they cut out circles. It just makes it really super easy. So I lost the video of cutting out the yellow one. So I found that in the heart paper, I was able to cut out a circle and um, the hearts say happy and happy life. And so I liked that there next to the photos. The sketch calls for a circle photo in that place, but I didn't have another photo. And I thought that that pattern paper was perfect for it. And then I ended up using the yellowy orange paper with the bows on it on the right hand side and I tuck that in so I did cut a little bit off just so that I didn't have to tuck it in as much and my title is going to end up in that circle like the sketch calls for. The paper from Jelly Bean Soup is not a true 12 by 12 so I did have to go ahead and cut off 
like a quarter of an inch from the edge because I didn't like the way that it was uh, not going all the way to the edge and I didn't realize it when I put it down. So I could have covered it up uh, underneath that circle, but it's it doesn't bother me that my layout may be a little shorter. So now I'm going through the embellishment pieces. So if you guys haven't checked out Peachy Cheap, it's a really awesome deal. I would recommend it if you like spending money because that's usually what Peachy Cheap gets me to do. But what it is is every day they have a new deal and it's only good for that day. And it's usually really a really good deal. And it's usually collection packs. Um, they also sell... Um, stamps and embellishments, all kinds of stuff. And so this particular deal, just so you can get an idea of what they have, it was the paper pack, um, a 12 by 12 embellishment sheet, which it probably, it looks like what you would have as an ephemera pack. And then it also came with two sets of uh, stickers and then those glassine bags that are up there at the top. I try to make those work on a couple different places, but they just don't make it. Uh, so it all came in there and I think it was like under $10. So you get a lot of things that usually it's collections that are a little bit older, but it's still beautiful collections and I still enjoy using them. So I don't mind not having the latest and the greatest things if I can get them for a really good price. So I have used a bunch of different embellished pieces. I took two little feathers and put them on that half circle where my title is going to go. At the very top on the left-hand side, I used two little doggies, and they have nothing to do with this layout except for the fact that they are stinking cute. So they have a pattern to them. One's a stripe, one's a polka dot, and then the uh, one on the right-hand side, that blue one has the little bows that um, are the same in the orange paper. And then I found a flower embellishment and another dog with some stars on it to add to the bottom. So I've really started to build my clusters and I have four clusters here, um, which I'm okay with. I you know, don't mind having additional clusters and not just have the three. I really think that it's still, even though it is a four, four clusters and it really forms a square, it still draws your eyes around the layout. So these are some of the stickers that came with this kit as well, and I'm using some of the word phrases. I added, remember this, up there to the top left. Awesome to my title section. Uh, good times over there to the far right. And then right now I'm adding the word happiness in a pink color up there to the top. I'm gonna add some of my enamel dots in a coral and a pink color in each one of the clusters. And then I am going to add my title. And unfortunately, my title also gets cut off. Um, I, I haven't been scrapbooking as much lately, and so I wasn't paying attention to my battery camera and the life of my battery. So... I, uh, it gets cut off at the end. But I will definitely have pictures for you guys in the close-ups. The only thing that you miss is me continuing with the spelling of springs in this light blue color. So my title is Rock Springs, which is the spring that we were at for this day. So I want to thank each and every one of you for watching. I also want to thank you guys for clicking on the affiliate links below. I just started that as part of some of the suggestions that you guys have been giving me. And um, the way it works is you have to have a few sales uh, from those affiliate links to even be accepted by Amazon. And I got notification yesterday that I um, have been accepted through that affiliate link. So those links don't cost you any additional money, but it does provide a little bit of revenue to myself just for doing these videos. So if you are looking for anything that I have used in this video, make sure you check out those links below. I really do appreciate each and every one of you supporting me in any way that you can. So here is my final layout as well as some close-ups. I hope everyone is having a scrappy day and thanks for watching.